Okay, let's start. Let's go. Hi, everyone. Um, so I was filming. I was like six minutes into filming my last video when some idiot tried calling me. <coughs> uh, <clears throat> I'm sorry, I choked my own spit. Um, because I don't know why, but I get like these random phone calls sometimes from random people, and I'm just like, I don't know you, and if I don't know you, and you don't leave a <coughs> a voicemail, I don't care. And I end up going and blocking their numbers. <clears throat> Sorry. So anyway, um, oh, I was not saying, and my other one, um, my husband, my and I, and my son went out last night, or not last night, uh, after, in the evening after we, uh, after he got home, and we went to the store, and ran a few other errands. <laughs> And, um, while we were running those errands, we, <clears throat> we, um, didn't get back home until about 5.30, and we had rented, uh, a Redbox movie for free. Um, I have been really 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 good at like getting free red box rentals um, not sponsored <laughs> and um sorry he's climbing on me um yeah. don't eat the book and um so, um, mostly because, like, it takes me a while, too, um, because, like, I don't always get the availability to get free codes. Um, sometimes I find them, like, on specially marked packages when I'm, um, shopping with my husband, or sometimes I get, uh, free rental codes off of T-Mobile. Um, occasionally, they will send me a free promo code via text message and I'll use those um, so it, it's a rarity that we actually get to get uh, a red box movie for free and since I have I am so sorry my thumb is twitching I don't know what it is but like I think my nerves are fried or something because my hand is just like that and I have my fingers straight up and they're they're moving and they're all okay that's okay, freaky um so <laughs> this way this way since he's now over there um sitting in my lap uh so um like I guess I, I hardly get any free rentals um but when we do we do use them um Unless, like, it's during a promotion thing, and I always wait till, like, the end of the promotion before I go and I rent the movies. I am so sorry if you can't hear me during that part. Um, and so if I end up with, like, an extra code or something, I'll share it, because I don't like free codes to go to waste. Um... So, you know, let me know if you ever want, like, a code to, like, like, I get tons of codes. Most of the time, I, like, buy one, or rent one, get one free. No. Go to Gata. Don't play with that. Um, so like I said, if you want, like, a free, um, a free rental code or something, um, to, like, rent one, get one free, I will so gladly, um, send you the ones that I get. Um, don't worry, I won't have any recourse to them. Like, they're not really connected to my account, so it's not like I get anything out of it. You get something out of it. I won't. Um, again, not sponsored by any of this. I'm just saying. Um, so, we didn't get home till about 5.30. Leo, uh, we didn't eat dinner till about 7 o'clock, and we started watching the movie, uh, The Mummy. Um, 
And today I was going to do the movie, I was going to talk about the movie Split because that was a really good one, or I was going to talk about one of the other ones I've seen. I think it was probably going to be Split, but um, I had a friend that wanted to know what I felt about the movie The Mummy, uh, the new one with Tom Cruise. And um, so we watched it. Thank you, sweet pea. So we watched it, and uh, it was getting time for bed, and we were going to put him down in his own room, but he didn't want to go into his own room, which is really weird. He's usually really good about, you know, going to bed in his own room, but he might have been, like, freaked out by the movie. Um, he did kind of have a little bit of a rough night last night, and we ended up letting him sleep in our room with us. Um, and that's kind of the reason why he's awake right now, because... Um, we woke up, he was up before I was, but he let me sleep, um, which is really, really sweet. So he just kind of ended up watching uh, whatever I had on Netflix in our room. Um, not sponsored on any of this, I promise you. I'm not getting paid for this. Um, so we woke up, and I drank a cup of coffee and it didn't work. And so we ended up going and having like an early nap because uh, I was still exhausted. And I wasn't expecting for him to go to sleep as well, but he did, so now we're up for the rest of the day. Um, so anyway, uh, the movie The Mummy, 2017, a remake of a remake, I believe of a remake. Uh, I think there's like four remakes of the movie, um, I'm not 100% sure. Um, so, like, there's the original that aired way back when there was, like, black and white films. And I think one aired, like, in Technicolor, and then we had Brendan Fraser, and now we have Tom Cruise. Um, and don't quote me on any of that. I didn't do the research. I should have done the research, um, to look it up to figure out if I'm correct or not. So, anyway, um, the normal premises is... Idiot archaeologist or idiot period um, ends up waking up the curse mummy and brings upon a future apocalypse, as is the running gag in um, in um. Sorry, my fingers. And it's not doing anything. It might be on a nerve. Nope, not on a nerve anymore. Okay, so apparently I have a nerve right there that's I'm just getting hit. So anyway, um So yeah, uh it was just like I said, the running gag and like I guess I could the I believe it's the second movie. Um but then again, you know, I think it's also, like, in the first movie as well. So, um, if, so there's really not going to be too many spoilers, um, in this review. I didn't really like the curse that they laid upon. No, no, sweetie. Thank you. Uh, I didn't really like the idea of, uh, what kind of curse they had. It was very problematic, and with the way that it was written, there was just way too many, I don't know, it didn't seem as good as the original, or not the original, it didn't, it wasn't as good as the Brendan Fraser version, um, because, like, this one, they're like, oh, this person is a chosen person, and we're going to throw in a love interest that we're not going to really develop any relationship. Like, the character development in the whole entire movie was horrible. And I do mean that. It was horrible. There was no development in characters. All the characters were really pretty bland. You could have, like, put the newest actors and they probably would have done a better job at doing this movie um I was kind of going into this expecting like 
Tom Cruise using his, um, uh, his, like, Mission Impossible type character, um, for the movie, but instead, he, it seemed like I was watching, like, a very diluted version of Brandon Fraser. Um, it was, the graphics weren't too bad, the storyline needed a little more tweaking I really didn't like um the idea that they ran with that you know the Dracula was real the swamp thing was real like they took all the old classic um horror films Dracula swamp thing Dr. Jekyll Mr. Hyde and they put it into this movie thinking oh this is gonna give it so much more because you know we're gonna do this ode to the original um horror genre beginnings uh, horror genre movie beginnings I should say um but yeah it it wasn't all that great and it wasn't like, oh my god, they're using, you know, old horror film creatures in this movie. It was it was really bad. Um, they even had a, the prop of the Book of the Dead. I can't remember if the Book of the Dead and the Mummy movies were gold or not. Was gold or not. Uh, I think it was gold. I believe it was gold. Um, so they had that prop in there as in, hey, <laughs> type thing. So it made it, I don't know, like, like these little hints that they had in there were really horrible. Um, really not well put together. Uh, the storyline wasn't great. I would have to say that it would have been better if it had ended in, like, the hero not getting with the getting with the antagonist instead of the what had happened um because it just it made a little more sense to me that that would have been like a better ending um but like I said with no character development and whatnot it was pretty lame very boring. I did end up watching it all the way through to the end and I regret it. I'm so glad I used a free code on this movie instead of actually spending money to watch it. So if you liked the original The Mummy movie, I suggest not watching this one at all. Um, I do know for a fact, uh, I think for a fact that Nostalgia Critic, uh, I think next week or this week, no next week, is doing a review on this movie and um i suggest watching it because i'm pretty sure he'll do a better job of describing how horrid this movie really is um another thing too about this movie that i really didn't like was they made the characters that sh uh the evil female mummy created into zombies like, they were legit zombies. Um, they didn't look like mummified people at all. They looked like zombies. And I really th think it would have been better if they had an, a, a, a more intriguing design for their newly, quote-unquote, shriveled-up bodies of this, of her servants. Um... But that's just my opinion. Like, I don't really think it was all that great. Um, I really believe they could have done a better job or they just could have just not remade a remake of a remake. Um, so, yeah. If you want to still watch it and waste time and effort in it, I rec go ahead. But if not, I really don't suggest watching this movie. It is horrible, and it's true what a lot of people have been saying, that it's, it's stupid. <laughs> so anyway, I'm running out of time here. Um, I love you guys all so much. So love, peace, and chicken grease. Bye.